Today we have a very special video. Today is a little bit different because within this video is just a good life lesson. I have an epiphany this video. I kind of realized it as I'm doing my laundry. This is a warning video for you to not let your problems build up like I have and deal with them head on so that you don't have to work extra hard to get your shit done. Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Tomorrow we're gonna have a super banger video climbing. Look out for that, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this one and, uh, and take something away from it. I have ignored many problems in my life for a long time and it has not got me very far, has not got me where to wanna be and it pisses me off because now that I'm realizing it, I'm like, Jesus, I could be so much further than where I am now, but hey, that's the whole point of life is learning these lessons and then taking what you've learned and growing from them. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please let me know down below. This is what happens when you ignore your problems. Unbelievable pile that has gotten way out of hand. We're gonna do something about it. Well, oh my god, this is bad. Yeah, this is insane. But hey, it is what it is. This is one thing about climbing the rocks. You can literally carry it all in one hand. Keep going, please. Take the sweatshirt off, guys. It's not staying. Good catch. <laughs> it's getting out of hand. It's not getting out of hand. It is out of hand. How does it ever get like this? You may ask how I got in this situation. My answer would be, I'm asking myself the same damn thing. <laughs> I'm happy, I guess, because now that I'm addressing this problem, just like many of the other problems that I'm addressing in this series, I'll get some new fits that I can be rocking this week, which will be fun, you know? It's like, you win and you win when you confront your problems. It's not a win and a lose. You're only winning. Done fucking with all these false idols, they're dumb to her. There's more problems when I pour this bottle, baby, I get so lost. I wish I felt alive sober, not just off my face. <laughs> As I'm sitting here thinking about this whole process of doing my laundry after it's gotten way out of hand is honestly, it feels, it's interesting because it feels synonymous with how I kind of let my life go in the last few years. Like after basically doing social media and modeling for a long time and then stepping away and just like not paying attention. Over time, it just piles up your problems, man. That's exactly what this looks like. Your problems like look exactly like this pile, you know? And that's kind of like what my problems have looked like for the last few years, just big piles of absolute just messes and it's so, like I said, synonymous almost with what I've been going through. I've just been putting off these problems for so long, not dealing with the, the root causes of them. And they got to a point where something had to be done or they were going to start rotting or I don't know, cockroaches were going to start showing up. Something bad was going to start happening to these things. And it's the same thing with my problems. Like I could have ended up somewhere terrible. I could have caught myself in a wrong situation. I could have overdosed. A lot of things could have happened to me in those moments of just letting my problems pile up with one another. And I don't know, it was just cool to see like these metaphors kind of popping up everywhere in my life now that I'm actively trying to get better. And uh, laundry is like your problems in real life. You let it pile up too long, it becomes a burden. And then when you deal with it, it's going to be way harder. And well, I guess I'm learning the hard way tonight, but I've also been learning the hard way with my problems as of recently. And uh, it's a very humbling experience. You know, you're like forced to just go back down to ground level when you have to do these types of things. And it also helps you, it helps you become a better person at the end of the day. And I think that's definitely worth it. So if you're thinking about letting your problems pile up like my laundry or like I did, if you can catch it before and figure out a way to deal with them before, I highly suggest that. I think that'd be a better option than what I've been doing. Uh, so yeah, learn from my mistakes and uh, don't let your laundry or your problems pile up like this. Okay, we're gonna do a little hex interview. How are you? You good boy? Huh? You look so comfy. Well, damn. Tell the people how you're feeling. How are you feeling? Okay, I'm sorry. You're a good boy. That's gonna conclude our hex interview. Thank you guys. So that's like 16 loads of laundry. Can't be ashamed of it though. It is what it is. Hard liquor on ice. Short days and long ice. Hours of hard work later, we're here, baby. This is what hard work gets you. A clear mind, a clean room, no laundry in sight. Are you kidding me? Look at this. If you address your problems, try to make a difference, whether that's even just doing your laundry, you will feel better about yourself. I feel so good about myself right now. It's literally 2 a.m. Haven't even edited the video. Doesn't matter. Look at this. Ah. This might seem so dumb to some people. This might seem so silly, but to me, this means the absolute world. I met a crossroads. And I decided for myself that no, today's gonna be different. I'm gonna actually do it today. And I feel so much better. It's literally 2 a.m. I'm about to go edit this. Hex is still trooping it out with me. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. If you do find inspiration or motivation at all from even these types of videos, please let me know down below. Love you guys and I'll be back tomorrow with a banger climbing video. I'm just gonna do the best that I can every single day. 
This is your world. Make it your own. Set yourself a goal, no matter how small it is, and get it done. Do it. This is just one of those things I had to hold myself accountable with and stop ignoring, and I feel so much better. I really appreciate all the love and support, guys. Thank you so much. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.